Good kitten, Internet. There's a kitten right here. Yay, kitty cat. So, um, head still cut off. There we go. This is, well, really annoying. I actually just finished recording this episode entirely. Um, and about 80% of the way through, my video card driver crashed and caused all sorts of weird things to happen. Like, my Magic 6 running at one frame per second and my computer claiming that all of its GPU resources were running a 20-year-old game. Uh, GTX 1080 Ti struggling to run a game that ran on computers that are slower than the processor in my keyboard. Um, yeah. Turns out it actually corrupted most of the video. Uh, there was audio glitches constantly happening. Like, they were visible in the timeline. They were really loud. And so I'm basically scrapping that entire video, much to my dismay. So I'm going to go over the highlights of episode 33 before continuing on. So I've actually loaded up the save from the end of episode 32. Uh, so if you had skipped episode 32, because unfortunately this was a summary also, um, all I've done is clear out lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of things in Dragon's Sand. So at this point on the map, Everything to the west of my arrow is completely dead. Everything. I have wiped out every single enemy to the west of my arrow. On top of it, I've also wiped out everything to the south of my arrow. So these three islands and everything here over west. Um, I have not touched Varn because you can't enter that yet. That's what this dungeon is over here is Tomb of Varn. Um, the only dragons left are the ones over here that you can see there. You can see some there. So I killed all the rest of these. I've left a lot of their loot behind just because I don't have the inventory capacity to carry all of it. So I'm just showing you what's going on. Here's some dragons, some obelisk that I picked up. Yep, that's all the dragons. So um, let's go ahead and reload. And now I will show you what I ended up doing afterward. Because the reason for this timing is so I can co complete a quest. Down portal, free haven. And we walked over here. Do, 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 do. I guess I could have re recorded my video and provided audio commentary, but this is a lot faster. And to be honest, I didn't do much. So, ran through the Temple of the Moon. Run, 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 run. And it is currently 11.14, so we need it to be midnight. So, first off, I'm going to go back to normal speed, because otherwise this is going to be impossible. And talk with Loretta Fleece, who takes you through the ceremony of the moon. Loretta Fleece contacts you via telepathy spell. My housemate's returning. Welcome to the ceremony of the moon. Stand ye before the altar of the moon facing south. I'm totally facing west. Or east, I think, actually. Close your eyes and meditate on the circle of the seasons and the wheel of life. Open your eyes, my friends. I hereby promote all great druids to arc druids. And honorary great druids to honorary arc druids. I'm gonna tilt this down, cutting off my head slightly because there's a cute kitty being very cute down here. Anyway, that was the last promotion. That's all that's needed for the promotion. Um, yeah, so we've promoted. Hooray. From here, ugh. wrong character. From here, go ahead and heal up again, I guess. Um, we putzed around a little bit in Dragon Sand, but more importantly, recall, we decided to go traveling. So we are traveling over to Hermit's Isle. Hermit's Isle is the last zone we have not visited in the game. All we've basically did was fly over to here, drop a beacon in a particular location, 
and hit the obelisk puzzle. So, this place is very dangerous, by the way, as you could tell from somebody just immediately dying. Um, luckily, this is just reenactment. I will end up reloading my save because while I didn't do much in the way of plot things, I did a lot of things otherwise. Like, I have a lot of good items and so on, so I really don't want to reload that. So, we went over to here. Let me go cast Torch Light before somebody complains in the comments. Hit the obelisk here. Sweet. Got an obelisk. Uh, we actually have one more. We missed Silver Cove somehow. This fountain here is something I wanted to point out. This is the um, Fountain of Youth. So if you drink from that fountain, your magic, uh, your artificial aging drops to zero. So for instance, she is 33 years old. And now she's 23. So just wanted to point that out. Did that. We also went over to Silver Cove which I am going to try to do right now. Uh, let's go raise somebody from the dead. I don't feel like casting the spell. Okay. Um, we went over to Silver Cove, which I'm just casting some spells. And to the north is actually where we need to go for the obelisk. So we went over to the north. North. Let's speed up. North. Right here. And hit the obelisk. Let me just kill them really fast. These are not exactly threatening enemies to me at this point. And now we have all of the obelisk. So this is the obelisk puzzle. I'm gonna sit, and for those of you that have not played the game before, I'm gonna sit here for a moment or three before it dawns on you how you're supposed to read it. And I'll point the camera down at his hand again. Oh, I need to go point further because he's slouching down. Have you got it yet? So basically you read it from top down, then left to right. So it's in the land of the dragon anyway the entire sequence i actually have in a chrome window which hopefully did not get closed on me yep there we go so in the land of the dragon to the north by far northeast lies the cache of the captain neath the wind the weight of the least hid for the ship of the sun before her function ceased Lift the stone and you have won this riddle's puzzle piece. So, during our previous episode that you may or may not have watched, um, right, I'm actually going to have to town portal back to New Serpical and fly from there. We had encountered the strange looking stone that it was in lowercase, but it made a dot on the map for some reason. And the reason being is that it's the one and only stone in the entire game that's in lowercase that actually makes a difference. Notice that it's a trapped rock. And inside here, there's always the same thing. It is always 250,000 gold pieces when you open plus three art and th these three specific artifacts plus two artifact books. So we have Egrain, which is plus 25 spell points and of body, of mind, and of spirit magic. So the best cleric item in the game. We have Guinevere, which is plus 30 spell points and of light and of dark. This was actually made in Castle Griegspire. Uh, so that's very nice. And then we have Morgan which is plus 20 spell points and of each of the elements. So we have these equipped on our characters. It also includes Dark Containment, which is the best or the highest level dark magic spell in the game. It's not the best. And also finally, we have Divine Intervention. Divine Intervention is not that great of a spell in Might Magic 6. It's much better in seven or eight. Also, Isun has decided to lay down more. So me kilting the camera like that doesn't help as much. So we looted all of this. And then we proceeded to loot some of the things in Dragon Sand, looting some of the bodies. 
looting, saving, reloading, because each of the dragons, the cover dragons, will give you random loot. And it's random high level loot. And eventually, I'm just hitting things until I can show you, which might take a while, because it is random after all. Do, 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 do. I'm just trying to, there we go, relic. They will drop relics and artifacts. This is the best way in the game to get relics and artifacts. Um, dragons, worms, and titans drop them. Um, titans are actually easier to fight, but we're at the point of the game where there's nothing difficult for us to fight outdoors anymore. So you end up getting these items, and we have basically caught up at this point. So let me show you what we have. And this is also includes the stuff that we looted prior. Um, I've sold a lot of things. That's the reason why I have even more money. Um, artifact wise, we have, nope, wrong one. We have Percival here. Percival is a bow of swiftness and of carnage. So carnage means that it has an area of effect attack. So when I fire an arrow from Percival, it makes an explosion around the target. So that's a very nice item. Not to mention it's of swiftness, which stacks with things of recovery, which I actually don't have on him right now, but I will. Of swiftness drops recovery time by 20. Of recovery drops recovery time by 30, I wanna say. It might be 15 and 25 instead. I can't remember off the top of my head. Anyway, we've got that. We've got Galahad here, which is a artifact. So the difference between artifacts and relics is that artifacts are strictly good things. These are both artifacts. Um, there's no downside to them. Relics, there's a downside, usually. Um, I think there might be one or two exceptions. So relics are usually more powerful, but with some glaring side effect. Uh, in this case, this is of protection, which is plus 10 to each of the elemental resistances, and plus 25 hit points, not to mention it's really nice armor. We also have a Death Mace of Darkness, so we now have two of Darkness weapons. So that's nice. I've mentioned earlier, we have Guinevere. Guinevere. Um, I also put the, where is that at? Yeah, Guinevere is on her, and I have Morgan on him. The reason being is that she already has a Ring of Fire Magic, he had an amulet of fire magic. So replacing the amulet was a much more direct swap. And of course, he has a grain. I think that's it for our artifacts. We didn't end up keeping any of the relics. We've changed the bows around a little bit. Um, we've got a divine dagger of infernos. We've got some nice cloaks now. Oh, really, that's about it. Yep. Let's go ahead and sell some things. So I actually have inventory space again. Because I... That's actually a nice dagger. You can tell some things I didn't even bother identifying. I may end up keeping that. Uh, um, dagger. Let's see, 9 to 12 cold, 3 to 18 fire, or... Mordred. Yeah, I'm keeping Mordred for sure. Oops. Damn it. Let me minimize that so I don't have to deal with that anymore. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to just sell it. No, it isn't. You lie. Oh, um, the other thing I've discovered during this time... <coughs> actually have mass distortion now so I'm not going to worry about it is that there is a glitch in the game it's the first time I've actually found out about the glitch 
Oh, I just realized you're not having audio recorded. Sorry. Give me a moment. Um, now you have audio recording. Sorry, I had it on my speaker, so you were probably getting a little bit from my microphone. My apologies. That's not what I like recording it with. All right. And is it finally? Yes, it is finally late enough so I can sell all the things over here. So many things to sell. There. This was something I was debating between, basically, because I like regenerating spell points. He doesn't have anything at the moment that regen spell points. But this cloak is a lot better than this one. And I hate red cloaks, because you can't tell when they're broken. So I am going to sell that. OK. So we've basically caught up to what I was doing before. I haven't really done much of anything else special. Um, the glitch that I discovered, uh, you'll notice that my reputation is 1500. I mentioned it in a previous video, noticing that. What's happening is that if your reputation exceeds 1500, at 3 a.m. it'll drop back down to 1500. Don't know why, I've never noticed that before. Um, but to be fair, without the unofficial patch, you don't see a number for reputation, you only see the word saintly. So I would have never noticed because everything 1500 and above, excuse me, is saintly. So it might just be the game's way of handling, whoops, I accidentally gained too much reputation. I'm going to buffer overflow. Oh, right. There was one last thing I wanted to show you that I did. Um, I forgot about that. Let me save in this slot and then show you. So the other thing I did was actually grab a crystal. So let's go time portal, heal up, and then I'm just going to go gr finish a crystal quest right now. It's really easy. So the way I'm going to do these crystal quests is that I'm going to do them two ways. I'm going to do them the fast speed running way and then go back and actually clear the castles. And well, this is the fast speed running way. Don't mind me, tra la 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 la, tra la 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 la, tra la 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 Congratulations, we got a memory crystal. I'm completely serious, that is all that it takes. I think all of the memory crystal locations can be done that fast. Keep in mind, I was not going double speed. That was normal speed. There is nothing that I couldn't have done in base game that I did right there. And it's really easy too. I mean, I took a little bit of damage and that was it. So you walk over here doesn't matter which one of these paths that you end up going along. And you drop it off and get 100,000 experience. That's it. So, now let's go back after I've done that. I am still looking for something better than my Mystic. Quartermaster. Sailor. Spellmaster. You're the one I'm looking for, I believe. Four point bonus to all spell skills. So, sorry, Doris. Hello, Sharon. So now we have plus four to every spell skill instead of plus three that we had before from the Mystic. Uh, we still also have a Scholar because I will forever have a Scholar in my party if I can help it. And that's it. So, now we have caught up with everything that I did in episode 33 before. So this episode 33 is going to be a wee bit different. Let's go ahead and take a look at our quest log. So we have Memory Crystal Alpha. I did Memory Crystal Alpha. Let me double check something really fast. Maybe I didn't save it afterward because I there was a lot of problems with this. I actually had to restart my computer to make any of this work again. 
So let's zoom over here to make sure I really did drop off the crystal. Tra la 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 la, tra la 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 la, tra la 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 la. Yeah, I did. Okay. Okay, just freaked me out a little bit. That's all. Okay, I'm just gonna reload my autosave before I TP it over. Oh, actually, my autosave isn't from before TPing. Doesn't matter. Blades Beacon, recall, new infested waters. So, I'm actually going to go further into here. You're not what I'm looking for. I want to go to Mighty Magics, or Little Charms. Mighty Magics is a different game, isn't it? Uh, let's see. So, I'm not looking for things to enchant at this point, to be honest. I don't need to. <laughs> I'm looking for awesome things. Like that this is an example of an awesome thing. Um this place and I think I might actually buy that anyway. Um nah. That place and Creek Spire are the two best in the game for which we call it um Enchanted item purchase. And since I recently trained, that means all of these places have reset, I believe. Unusual enchantments. Those are kind of garbage. Yep, nope, nothing. So, anyway, we're going to go over here. I'm going to cast haste. See, I have Divine Intervention now. I can cast it three times a day, except I can only cast it during dawn or dusk. I don't understand the three times a day at that point. It's very limited, to put it mildly. Um, I'm going to recast Hour of Power. And now we're actually going to go through Castle Alamos. So you'll notice that the statues on the left and right look a lot like the sorcerers and warlocks. There are three types of enemies in this castle. There's Warlock style, there's Air Elemental style, and then there's the Magyars. I'm gonna go this way because I know they're pissed from me running through. They're actually inside of those four little areas. I guess none of them have come up yet, so I'm not gonna worry myself with that. This is a fairly large dungeon, by the way. But at this point, there's nothing really that threatening in here. I mean, I can get stun locked pretty easily from dealing with uh, wizards. I, I got a ring. It's enchantable. That works. But really, there's not much else I'm concerned with in here anymore. I'm holding down the A button. I'm not caring about what is in here. That's enchantable. That's money. That's money. But we're going to clear this place out anyway. Oh, so um, while I was trying to figure out that whole three in the morning reputation drop thing, I had decided that I had gone back through the video for, uh, whatchamacallit, um, ah, silly dead ends. I had gone back through the video that we did for the Caves of the Dragon Riders. I did the entire Caves of the Dragon Riders in five real-time minutes. It was hilarious. You're not supposed to do that. Oops. see them but they're still slightly too far away Oops. also I think I think I keep exploding an arrow in my own face good job me ah, another deck of fate money enchant bait enchant bait sell bait oh boy more earth magic spell increases just what I needed 
if there's anything in here. I'm going to actually listen to what's going on now. Not the type of fruit I needed. Empty, orange, um, who even needs intellect at this point? You do. And also not what I wanted. Purple, white, blue, blue. Oh. Speed. Let's give you all the speed I can get. White is luck. I'm shoving all of my luck onto a single character. I'm doing so little damage with the arrows that having them explode in my face really means nothing. That's usually the problem with Carnage, but I can't even damage myself with them anymore. So, each of these castles are supposed to be fairly large dungeons. In fact, one of them is one of the large is the second largest dungeon in the game. But they're not that hard, except for one of them. The, basically, there's one exception to the these dungeons aren't very hard rule, and that would be Darkmoor. That will be the one I will do last. Alamos is first, because Alamos starts with the letter A. That really was how I decided how to, what order to do this in. Sonic Light, and Inferno! Uh, I can do Dark Containment now. Uh, let's show Dark and Tamer. So, this thing is stone, shrunk, and cursed. Everybody else around it just took lots of damage. And they're stoned for a long time. I actually don't know what the duration is because I've never seen it expire. You can still shoot them. Ah, stupid bouncing. So, we're killing lots of Magyars because they're not exactly a threat to us. I mean, seriously? I have one person who has any injury at all coming right now. Those goopers, on the other hand, are going to be a problem. I'm actually going to back up and go back into here so I don't have to deal with the warlocks at the same time. Also, stopping the stupid bouncing for no reason. Well, it looks like minis ended. Now they're only stoned. I hope you like seeing Ed's goofy look constantly. Goobers. Deal with you. Oops. Deal with you because do not like dealing with warlocks. They make me go something something. There we go. Done. Clear this up, and there's a little tree in here. Helm. I haven't got a lot of junk in my inventory, apparently. Anyway, it's a tree with capital T. Etched into the tree, a message reads The third from first of 26, A through Z, you'll have to mix. So, the third letter of the password that I typed in while I was doing that quick rush is the letter C. No, I'm sorry, the first of 26, not, I messed that up. So the third letter is an A. 
And basically what you're supposed to do is go around and find the passwords for everything. That's what you're actually supposed to do. You're also supposed to find a way into there that doesn't use the jump spell. Um, I don't know why, because the jump spell is awesome. That's exactly the way I would have done it. I guess they don't want you to require the jump spell, but you could have found a scroll. They could have had a scroll lying around. That would have worked. Anyway. Uh, oh, there's enemies in there. That's why I keep hearing air elementals. But I'm going to be looping around. And with these goobers. I hate dealing with air elementals. This dungeon in particular is pretty bad with the air elementals because flying things indoors don't work very well in Magic 6. And that's because you end up uh, flying through walls by accident. And somebody went something something. Ah, uh, there's a second one. Right, mind, Karen Sanity, you. Body, cure weakness, you. And then we will actually use cure wounds for yes. once. It's gonna take a long time to actually heal that up. We'll go this way. Oh yeah, let's not go that way. It's a silly place. Again, this is a fairly large dungeon. It's going to take a long time to go through this. That's why I was kind of saying that we may end up having two episodes per one of these dungeons. And it's really easy to get lost in here as well. Oh, stupid arrow elementals. And I'm bouncing again. Because that's apparently the curse of being indoors in this game. Mind you, um, this bouncing glitch is not something I've ever seen before. This particular run, that is. Seven hit points, six. Okay. That's easy enough to take care of. Also, elementals still don't leave any loot. Bastards. Oh, let's jump through here. I can't remember where this one ended up going. Ah, hi. Let's go ahead and, yeah, prismatic light. Yes. And inferno! And punch something in the face. And what do you have for large area of effect things? Mass curse is not exactly useful. Dragon's breath will hit me. Yep, that actually does hit me as well. I wasn't sure about that. I thought it was fireball style. I was right. Inferno! Prismatic light. Can I see the sorcerers up there. where you can actually kill them just by clicking on them. Anyway. These two paths that turn into one. Ah, they're slowed and paralyzed now. And it won't let me target them. So 
apparently that's how long stone lasts. Okay, good to know. Door won't budge. I think that's something I have to find a lever for. It's been too long since I've gone through here. Once more, you can totally stab people through windows. Oops. Oops. Oh well, I'll deal with them later. All right, is there anything down there? Nothing I could deal damage to. Uh, screw it. Whee! And here's the other next tree. The second is next to the third. Oh, so pretty like a bird. So the second letter is B. I think that might have actually opened the door now that I think about it. Something else over here, right? Oh, yes, there is. I'm going to go this way because I can. See how little healing I end up needing in this place? I'm, I'm actually the level I'm supposed to be right now. I'm not trying to be overpowered. Well, I'm sort of am, but I'm not doing anything that you shouldn't normally have at this point of the game. Hey, look, it's food. It's something I don't need at all. Yeah, this is the point of the game where you start getting massive mazes everywhere. Uh, let's Dragon Breath instead. That does more damage, generally. Unfortunately, our elementals are immune to magic, aren't they? Ah, oh, screw that. I don't like dealing with our elementals. Let's go this way. There we go. Now we're back over here. And zoom over to here, and... I was right! It's open now. Nothing over here. It's a very strangely designed dungeon, if I do say so myself. We're actually where we're supposed to be at. Yep, that's a door that has to be opened the hard way. Yeah, why you needed to flip the switch to get up here when you can just walk here directly? I didn't have to cast the jump spell to get up here. I keep accidentally hitting the mouse. My apologies for anybody who's getting seasick. Hey look, here's another tree! Etched into the tree's message reads, The fifth is twice the second. Five letters in all, I reckon. And an awake, or resistance potion. It's like an awaken potion? There's a bunch of air elementals flying above me. I can tell because they're circling around me. And I'm not doing anything. Oh no, they're warlocks. Oh wow, I'm actually injured. It's because he's the only one that doesn't have any drain spells, or drain items. I will actually cast shared life. My knight will eventually recover from that. Uh, maybe I should have seen if I could find an item that allows me to uh, resist insanity. That might have been handy. Look at how much damage I'm doing at this point. It's doing like 90 something damage.
And with your weakness, you... Letter to Garrick. Please use your knowledge of the arcane items and materials to divest this crystal of the information it contains. Use the full resources of Alamos if you have to, but do not fail me. It is imperative that I know whatever information the Oracle is attempting to deny me. So here's an interesting thing. Um, Archibald's actually trying to do the same thing you are. It's not very obvious in this game, but he really was... He kind of knew what was potentially happening, and he wanted to make sure that... Well, I don't want to give that part away. But Archibald's not 100% evil, shall we say. That looks weird. Hey, look, I teleported to over here. I don't actually remember teleporting there. So basically, there's a bunch of teleporters in this place that allow you to get around really fast. It's supposed to be adding to the theme, basically, because there's no real reason for it. Then there's this place. I hate this place. That requires there to be light outside and use it outdoors and it's magic damage. Ugh. And during the day. So, paralyze. You're not paralyzed. Of course you're not. Hundred and two damage from an acid burst. Nice. Great. Don't want to deal with the insanity. I said I don't want to deal with the insanity. You bastards. Paralyze really just does not like working in Might Magic 6. It actually worked this time, but... Still paralyzed. They will get hit by everything while they're paralyzed, for reference. Yeah, 43 minutes. I'm not doing too bad. I might... I'm probably not going to be able to fully wipe out this place in this one recording. Are you still paralyzed? Yeah, you are. You dead yet? Yep. Somebody went back down here. Or no, they're just above me. Drat. So anyway, there's these obnoxious areas, basically. Oops. Think of them as little arenas. Oops. This is the um, claim to annoyance for Alamos, because each of the dungeons have some annoying part to them. That's this one's. There's a way back up. Yeah, it's right here. Like, I know there's a way back up without having to cast jump. Because once more, it would have been interesting if you actually had to use jump to get back up. But you don't. You might need to use jump to get up there, though. That I don't remember. I mean, I'm going to use it anyway because I can. Air. Jump is air, not water. Let's head over here. Boop. A little super great. These were the three that I was seeing before. Okay, anyway. 
anyway. Let's head over to the side. I think there might have been stairs up over here or something. Ugh. Everybody's going crazy. Everybody's going crazy. Nothing about going crazy. Let's talk about going crazy. Now die, please. They're all warlocks. All of them. And the bouncing was bothering me. I really don't like this place. Not mean to fireball myself. That's not good. <laughs> Should life. Oh, lovely. I have 19 instead of 20. Ah, screw it. Divine magic. Look how much damage I do in melee. It's ridiculous. life. I mean, I can't go more crazy. I mean, you can in reality, but in this place, it's not worth curing insanity. I remember this room. Great. Air elementals, too. You know what? Downstairs looks like a great plan. I really need one more draining dagger. Just one more. Uh -oh. Oh. Spell is useless. Oh. Hammer. It's actually a nice All hammer, right. but I've got better. Right. Teleporter key. Activate. Oh. Why do I need a teleporter key? I've been using the teleporters without a key. This is where all hell breaks loose. This is the room of getting stun locked. And some people appeared behind me, because of course they did. You know what? It's time to leave. Let's heal up. Uh, recast Hour of Power, because that's the only one of these that I'm concerned about. Beacon, Recall, Eel Infested Waters. And let's go back in, shall we? I know what's down there. I might as well walk over there, because that's where I was before. Yeah, I really don't understand why you can't just walk over here normally. Oh, maybe I was actually on a different one, now that I'm looking. Ugh, this dungeon. Can't find anything in here. No one can. It's hopeless. Hello, random air elementals that decide to teleport behind me. You broke my boots, you bastards. I like my boots, they're comfortable looking. They're made out of dragon hide. I probably looted them from dragons even. I wonder where they went. There we go. Take one more over here.
Okay, each time I try to open that door, more elementals appear. Let me do that one more time. Nope, only happened twice. Or maybe it has to kill all of them? Now I'm curious. Oops. Yeah, it's every time I walk into the room. Interesting. Does that mean if I do that? Yep. Infinite enemies! Also, I got broken. It's not my cloak of life. And this random mace. Wrong character. This random mace. I saw that my cleric has something broken. As good as new. Ring of charm. It's as good as new. Okay, so that's obviously a trap. There might be something else there, but it's obviously a trap. A little overlook. So you can go snipe things, except that most of these enemies have ranged weapons, so sniping things, not the greatest of ideas. Cell bait. Not even worth picking up. And another deck of fate. What day of the month is it? 22nd. I'm approaching the end of the month where using the decks of fate could actually be useful. But I'm not in a month that's useful for the items received. Much to my dismay. Okay, I remember going through that teleporter now. God's damn it, game! Go through the damn teleporters again. Them. Uh, might as well actually. Cure insanity. This is the dungeon where. It, I've already mentioned that it's probably not even worth curing, but at least in this section it probably is. I've done the rest of this. One very, very long dungeon. Could actually hit those potentially. Yep. Oops. Ha! Ah. Oops. Okay. I can use my arrows to hit through the wall. That was not expected. Oops. Nifty. I don't think I ever noticed that about Carnage. I mean, it makes sense. Okay, there's a wall lock over there. I haven't gone ground level yet, so I'm going to do that now. Yeah. That's back into the I hate you area. Um, let's jump up here. And go this way. I haven't gotten this way yet. Oh, I see what's over here. Hint, it's more elementals. Who would have thought? Uh, you broke some. You broke my crown? No, uh -huh. oh, my poor crown. Same crown. 
I mentioned how much I hate dealing with these air elementals. They're really obnoxious. You still have Inferno? No. Now you do. Inferno! Looks like two more Infernos will be enough. Or I can just arrow them to death. That worked. I did not hit that twice. I know I didn't. They're further down there. Okay. What's over here? Looks like some place I've been before. Because I'm actually seeing the map on it. Yeah, this is the place I've been. So, let's go the other way. This castle is so weird. I've not been down this way. That's because that's the entrance. Okay, now I know where I'm at. I'm gonna go around over here. Get some money. Oh. Any little regen. All right. Ring of regen. Everybody has something of regen already, so there's not much of a reason for me to do anything with it, but that's okay. So I thought that counts. This is the way I have not been yet, so let's go this way. There's a door here. The door is locked. It is the key that I have. It's a teleporter room, apparently. Yes. Power. I already know it. I don't actually know what's in this area. I don't remember, basically. Okay. I know where I'm at from there. What happens if I hit the teleporter? I teleport to here? This is Silver Cove. I mean, if I could teleport back, that would be awesome, but I can't. So I guess that's just a quick way to run away. Hmm. Already been down this path. Yeah. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Okay. Let's go over here. Thematically appropriate music, I suppose. Okay, that was the exit. Let's go down this way. Because, you know, why not? Uh. See, the problem with this dungeon is that there's no doors for half of these places, which means... I'm violating my own policies for how to search a dungeon. And I also have to violate my own policies for how, what order to kill things in. So normally I kill things in the order of people who break stuff, people who inflict status effects, and so on. I can't do that here because everybody breaks things and everybody other than the Magyars inflicts status effects. Nobody heals because nobody heals in this entire game. That's definitely not the case otherwise. Um, time is 819. I've got. I'm gonna try to last a little bit longer before casting a bunch of spells. Can I actually cast through this? No. No, I can't. Blue and blue? Yep. My well, character or personality actually does anything, so. And kill the one that got away. There we go. All right. 
right. It is 8.34. I'm almost done before I'm going to cast Divine Intervention. This doesn't look like a trap at all. Oh, hey, look, it's a trap. Who would have thought? Fifty, good enough. Find an invention. Because remember, I want to age my party. Well, not the knight. I really don't want to age the knight, but everybody else I want to age. Blue, empty. So with all the personality barrels, this is a wizard dungeon. Purple, that's you. Money of practically inconsequence. White, purple, red. Actually, red is going to be you. White is you. Purple is you. Okay. Purple is you! I should probably recast our power, shouldn't I? Let's see, how long do I have left of our power? Two hours. Let's get it up to seven. I see you there. Damn elementals figuring out how to get through walls. And speaking of damn elementals, I should double check to make sure I have nothing broken that's of consequence. I have lots of things broken. Some of them are even of consequence, like something that gives bonuses to resistance. I can do. It's fixed. No, oh, but there's something your friend can do. Okay. There we go. Fix all the broken stuff. Continue on. I swear this game is just throwing as many enemies as possible. If I remember right, you can. Alamos is the other area that you can actually cause the game to give you errors from trying to spawn enemies. Because there's too many enemies. Right, stuff on there. Crappy poleaxe and a restoration potion. Not even anything in the alcove. Cheap. I mean, Magyars are not at all threatening to me. I am more threatened by the theoretical concept of an air elemental being around than I am about all of the Magyars in the dungeon. In case of anybody's wondering, yes, I have in fact defeated every single enemy in the game before where there was not a single enemy left unturned. There's a blue thingy over here. And there will remain a blue thingy over there because why is there a cloak in that? Whatever. That just crosses over with Jonathan Edwards. And I was expecting the insanity. I mean, if I actually had regen on Matt over in the corner, or not regen, um, life training. I would not be concerned with the damage I'm taking at all. Ever. Because I'm healing faster than I'm taking damage if I drain. I'm gonna remotely hit that one. Uh, this is actually the furthest point. 
Mine! Telekinesis. That line. It's time to flush. I finally have a way of curing stoned. Only took most of the game. So good to know. So many staves. If only I actually used them at all. Most elementals in this game are annoying. Air and fire are the worst. Not rest. Wait, I can actually rest there? What? Okay, so this is what I've seen of Alamos so far, and we're at an hour and six minutes. I probably could finish Alamos. Yeah, I have very little left. I'm just going to finish it. So this will be a single video. Apparently. These are the rest of the enemies for reference. They were in this room. We were in here earlier. Only thing that actually requires a jump spell. Is why I really didn't understand why the re they didn't think about jump spell because they already had something in here that required the jump spell. Why would they? Oops. <sighs> Games. I mean, technically, you could walk around here. Why would you do that when you can just cast a jump spell? Jump spell is awesome. Hello, trap. I mean, air elementals. There we go. Money! Haven't I already been down here? Yeah. That's the one that opened the gate before. One must have gotten up there. Jump. Might as well. More food? But I heard. Oh, this is just ones I must have missed earlier. Um, then. Gear weakness. Hello, air elemental. There's element, air elementals hiding up there for some reason. I don't know why. I cleared that area out, so... Oops. Yep, and we're back out to there, which I have completely cleared out. Fine, I guess I'll go walk up and around again. Uh, this dungeon. All of these dungeons, they're really long and exhausting. This one's just slightly confusing. Darkmoor is the worst. As anybody who plays Might Magic 6 will tell you, Darkmoor is the worst. Don't have 
have much left at this point. Oops. Kind of looks like a teleporter, even though it's not. In fact, I'm walking on air, apparently. This is, yep, fifth is twice the second. This is where the crystal was. I don't care if she goes crazy. See, this is the way you're supposed to go, is up that elevator, then over to here, and then hop over. But there's no real reason to, because you can just cast a jump spell here. I mean, that's not exactly hard. Okay, um, what do I have left? I just have the stuff over to the right, and that's it. So I'm gonna go quickly finish that up. See, this is what I mean by, or you could type burp walk. It's not why. There's no need for it. Excessive dungeon. Precious is excessive. So this thing, where are you? You're up above. There, now you're dead, and I'm not. Ha 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 ha. See how little healing I'm using? It's all because I'm draining hit points off of everything. It's the only way you can deal with this game. I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. Uh, Torchlight finally expired. Which means... I've got three hours left on our power, but I'll recast it anyway. Because I'm not using my magic for anything else anyway. There's so many random things in this dungeon. These dungeons are huge, after all. Oh, nope. That was a one-way. Or a dead end. Not a one-way. Okay. Um, go back to here. Go down here. Why am I even doing that? There. Screw subtlety. as I get lost again. See the enemies. I see them. Why can't I remember how the hell to get out of this section? Tempted to just teleport. Yes, I've already hit that one. Is it up here I need to go? No, I just looped all the way around. This area looks promising because there's enemies here! Death to all air elementals. Oh, there's a warlock in here. There it is. So, um, V of Carnage ability. There is one item in Might Magic 7 that has of Carnage. It's an axe. So you end up hitting yourself in the face constantly. It's great. Oh, screw this. Just teleporting outside. <laughs> Abdul's Discount House of Worship is closed, which is fine. I can cure myself. This is once more going to turn into a long episode. I'm sorry. And so this way is the way that I haven't really covered, right? Yeah, hug the left wall instead of the right wall, got it. I 
hands are starting to cramp up. This will be the last episode that I do tonight. Today. What time is it? Uh, 15. Okay. Let's move around here. Whoop. Almost looked like I got attacked by something. Hey, look, I'm exhausted. Great. I'm doing half damage for Inferno! Alright. Um, this is where it may affect item restoration would be nice. Inferno! Oops. Inferno! Inferno? Your weakness. You... So much stun. Inferno! Inferno. Now we are going to share life. And then we are going to run up and beat everything. taking a lot more damage than I was expecting. What ended up happening? Something bad ended up having to break. I don't care. Not really. I think it's just because everybody's still weak. He only has 55 hit points. Ugh. Power cure? Yeah, she's doing half damage. She's definitely weak at the moment. <sighs> Your weakness, her. I know when you cure insanity, the weakness that comes from that is actually, um created from Cure Insanity. But I'm also weak on top of everything else, which does not help things. Oops. <sighs> okay, I am so injured right now. Power here. Your bow is damaged. That explains why you're not doing range damage. As good as new. There. Inferno? Inferno! Just too many enemies in one room is the problem. Barbecue. here. Inferno. Now I can look over here. Inferno. Okay, now I just have wizards to deal with. Those I can deal. Deep breath. easier to deal with at this point. Far fewer enemies. Okay. Oops. About time. Find telekinesis. That obviously trapped area. And this is the last of the trees, by the way. 
So basically what you're supposed to do is write down the combination and we'll kind of do it. To the side. I don't remember what that pool of water is for. Money, get another deck of cards. Nice. Got a dagger. Treasure room key. I remember having a locked door. Ooh. Where was that at? Don't get the water. Anyway, etching the tree. The fourth from eight is from. Uh, the fourth is eight from the end, and Archibald really is your friend. No, he's not. And. There's supposed to be a way back up. Where was it? Is it over here? No. Yeah, screw it. Jump. Maybe it's over here. Where are the treasure room? All these treasure chests. All mine. Let's go ahead and loot everything. Ah, gems. Lots of gems. Only gems actually did something in this game. Okay, my inventory is so full I can't fit a gemstone in it. Good job, me. Books, Woods Beacon, I already have on everybody. Jump, already have. Finger of Death, Yes. did not have. Lightning Bolt, did have. Your inventory is also full. Featherfall, Yes. okay. There is no chest in the middle, we swear. No. Um, fireball, I know I have. Ice bolt. Acid burst. Can't I? Basically, this is where you can go to learn stuff if you didn't already know it. I know everything, though. My inventory is now completely full. 100%. And part of that is all of these crappy things. Like regular leather boots, really? Or a regular staff? Kind of mention scroll, that's nice. I can make that fit. Next one, crappy loot. Aha. Next one, crappy loot. Ah. It's enchant bait at least, but. I'm kind of at the point of the game where I don't really care anymore. Money! That's enchantable, and you're going to find a spot for that. Somewhere. That's a spot. Two items than one. Uh, my hands are not happy with me. I'm almost at an hour and a half. Let's hurry this up. This is the last chest. Some nice looking boots. These are valuable boots, actually. Um, yeah, that's much more valuable. There we go. Done. Now, we have finished Castle Alamos. Actually finished, that is. 
Um, technically, we actually don't need anything else in the eel infested waters. Let's have a little bit of fun. First off, we need to fly. So I, test, I take less damage. And then we are going to nuke the entire zone from orbit. This is the Armageddon spell. It deals damage to everything. 50 plus 1 per point of damage. Be cast three times a day. And I've got three characters with it. Unfortunately, Aguiar's enemies are immune to them because they're flying. Sea monsters are not, though. Which is why I'm casting it. Because it's worth experience. It's not like they live leave loot anyway, so... That's five hit points left. Now it's dead. Okay, that should be everything except for the Aguirre is fun. Look at how high up they are from all of the Armageddons. There's no pet, and eh, there's no civilians in this area, so maybe there was one. Why is my reputation down 15? Oh, not concerning. So. Uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. It's been an hour and a half because these dungeons are long. And as usual, I forget to recast our power. Goodbye, internet. Um, next up will probably be... Let's see, uh, what quest should I do next? Uh, so I just did beta in Alamos. Uh, it's gonna either be Memory Crystal Alpha or Epsilon. Because I'm saving Darkmoor for last. Screw that place. Goodbye, internet.